Hey guys, welcome back to Savage Builds. So as you can see, and you probably saw in the comments, um, the two rocker builds won the uh, vote instead of the knifeless kit. Um, sadly, I actually wanted to do the knifeless car, but it's what you guys want. And plus, this isn't going to take that long. So I'm going to try to have both of these videos done within this week. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'll definitely have it done within this week and next week. Um, and then I'll, I'll talk to you guys about what I'm going to do with the knifeless car or might do later. But yeah, so I've been doing, as you guys saw, um, I posted two videos on the same day, actually, too. That was an exhausting day. I posted this train and this race car, uh, just so you guys could keep up with my videos when I was, while I was waiting for this to be the, the vote to be over. Um, so while I was doing those, you know, I was doing a lot of smaller builds. Um, I think this build may be a little smaller than those two, but I don't really, in the, I'm not really in the mood for a smaller build right now. So we're going to set this to the side and we're going to be building this. So I don't know if you guys can really see, but the first thing that got me into rocker was this Rover right here. My mom bought it for me because I was looking for some, uh, building kits to get that wasn't, that was less expensive than Lego. And she found me this. And so this is a solar, I think they're all solar. But this is a solar, uh, um, what is it called? I don't, I'm just like Rover. This is a solar Rover. And so what happens is there's a like, um, oh, wow, it's falling apart. There's a motor in here anyways, in the middle. And what happens is when the sun, when the sun hits this, uh, the wheels start to move. So it's actually pretty cool. But yeah, this one actually took me a long time to make because I did not know what I was doing at first. At first, I almost broke it, actually. So, yeah, at first I almost broke it, and then I got it fixed eventually, though. So, yeah, but we're gonna be going into this one. And if you guys want me to be doing a video on this Rover, just put in the comments below. I'll put a video on it. I'll just buy a whole new one, and I'll, I'll make it. But, so we're gonna be doing this. This is the Navi. The Vitas, I don't know how to say it. Now, I, I want to say it with like a Spanish accent because that sounds like I don't know. Navi, Navitas Rover Space Hunting. So it says that it's a solar, it's solar energy powered by solar energy. No tool, no batteries necessary. So we have some details on the front. It says length, I'm guessing, is 230, width is 80, and height is 120. I'm guessing that's the actual one. I don't know. It just says 230. It doesn't say 230 feet inches. So yeah. Um, the de destination for this is Proxima Centura. Um, the declination is negative 62 degrees. I'm guessing, and then 40. Uh, and then, anyways, there was some stuff on the front you can see. And this one's actually called the L L S. 504 Navitas or Navitas Rover, I don't know. Or at least I think that is. And on the back it has some other information and then it also shows the other rovers there are. And so as you can see, I have two. This is included as two and I need two more to get. So I'm gonna be trying to get all of them, uh, the, whole, the whole bunch, but for now we're just gonna be doing this. So I'm going to take this out of the package, then we're going to go over some other stuff, and yeah. Okay guys, so right when you take it out of the saran wrap or whatever that is, you'll see this right here. But it's all, that all, that's all it is. It's not like a box around it. That's literally all, you just slide it off. And I think that's probably all, with all the rovers, because I'm pretty sure it's with the other rover I have too. So after you take this off, you have the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five five wooden sheets we have our we have our review thing we have our more than a puzzle that says please scan qr code for this the stuff well let me say it for customer service latest news assembly videos and special offers oh so that's this right here pause the video if you didn't see that and then we have our instructions which is in a pamphlet like like this so this is, I guess this is considered one of the bigger builds. So it doesn't have just those ones where it just like 
folds out, it has an actual pamphlet. And in here we have the motor, the solar panel, and then, and that, that goes, there's a little plastic thing down here that holds it. And then there's also a bag that comes with some of the um, washers, I think that's what these would be, I don't know. Um, oh, that's an actual chain. So guys, I didn't, I didn't realize this, but that's an act, the, the thing that's, the chain right here that's holding the claw on the back, that's an actual chain or a hook. And so, yeah, and then we got some of the gears and stuff in here, but yeah. So I'm going to take these sheets out. It just, oh, and of course it comes with the, the, uh, what is it called? Sander, sandpaper. So yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the sheets out. I'm not gonna show you guys me taking the sheets off. I don't think that's really necessary. But I'm gonna take these out and um, I'm just gonna leave you to it. And I'm gonna go build this. So uh, yeah, can't wait to be done. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I finished the Navitas Rover, Navitas, whatever, Rover. And this is how it turned out. So this build took me three hours to make. It cost $25 on Amazon, I think. The description will be in, um, no, the link will be in the description below. So just go down there, scroll, well, actually, Anyways, you'll see it and you'll click it. So, let's talk about this. So, this build, well, actually, you know, let's go. I don't know why I'm trying to go into the review first. Let's go into the features, you know. Everyone wants to see the features. So, I mean, just first off, just just look at it. It looks beautiful. This, um, on the box, you know, I showed you, showed all the, the, or I said it showed all the rovers. So, this is my favorite rover so far, honestly. I mean, I've only had two, but it, it just looks beautiful. So if you just, just, just compare the two, I, the, these two I already have, it just, it just, just looks way better than this. I mean, this looks cool, but this looks a lot cooler. Uh, I mean, oh, this has like a sensor or something, but then this just has this, it just looks cool. And this one has a lot more detail, I'd say. Well, not detail, but, um inscriptions or uh, detailed pieces I should say let me go over here and show you guys so get under my charger get under this okay so you guys just look at this just 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 look how awesome this is and you see all the detail you can see the solar panel the extra solar panel stuff you see these markings. I don't know what all this stuff's supposed to be. You can see all the detail there under the tires, even and the tires. We got this little. Sorry, the hook. We have that. In the front, it has the R rocker. Everything you know, the stairs to get into it, the ladder right here, and the stairs to get into it. Got the front. The underneath. It's just it just looks really awesome so sadly oh no never mind and and then even best part the doors open you see how cool that is the doors actually open and then on the back right here you can see it says rocker right here so i mean yeah that was i mean it's really cool it has a lot of detail to it and a lot of you guys are probably wondering I don't, I lost it. Like, what is the hook? So, in, when I first saw it, I didn't know that the chain for the hook was actually a chain. So, this is actually a metal chain. And so, and then, you know, wood. So, I mean, for this right here, it's, I mean, this is literally, this whole piece is like an extra trailer on back. And you could swivel it around. 
the tires move, and then on bottom you see there's an extra spare. And also, you can make this go up and down. You can make this part extend and extend and shorten. This part was tricky. Let me tell you this. This part was tricky right here. And as you can see, there's a lot of um, thin pieces. So with this build, you have to be so careful because with the pieces and everything, it's just like, I broke a lot of pieces. If you saw in the time lapse, I don't know if you had a, if it would show it, but I had to use super glue for so many parts. Not really any of them are really <coughs> that visible. Also, I built this yesterday. As you can see, I'm wearing different clothes. So I built this yesterday, so I don't really know all the specific ones. I know this detail piece on top though, right here, I had a, I split it in half, but I had to glue it back together so you don't really notice. But you guys have to be really careful. And all the detail pieces, those pieces don't have spares. So you have to be really careful with those. Also, you know when you have like the, um, you'll have like a tiny square piece that's probably like this long, you know, and you have to, um, especially the times where it's like a square piece, the wooden piece, you know, that have to, um, I'm doing this all over again. I made it so confusing. Anyways, if you look at the tires, so look at the tires, you see all these, these three holes. So the, the, the thing that connects these three together is like a square, right? Then if you see the hole that it goes into, it's circular. So you kind of, when you're doing that, you, you kind of have to scrape the square a little. And, and you have to make, I broke, I broke these a couple of times with this extras, like five extras, I think. So I'm going to be really careful that you don't break it. Because I, I broke the, the things that go into here a couple of times. Because, you know, it's a square going into a circle. You have to push it in there. And what... When you push it in there, you're forcing it so much that, well, you know, it makes, what am I trying to say? When it, it squeezes together, right? So it's so like stiff in there, it's not going to get out. So that's what like, they're, they're really um, like stiff or whatever. It's a uh, really, it stays together very well. That's what I'm going to say. But yeah, also, as you can see the solar panel, so the, the motor and everything that it, it's just, the hardest part was not the motor or the solar panel. That's super easy. The hardest parts were like the front of it. And I mean, this was one of those time consuming builds where it's time consuming because there's so many tiny pieces. And so that's why it was so time consuming. It took me three hours to make. So, I mean, that's me. But also, also one more thing I want to show you guys. One more thing I want to show you guys is I probably, probably just read the directions wrong. But if you see on the bottom, you see this right here? You see how there's two? So in the instructions, there was only one. But I didn't like how there was only one because it was making one wheel. It was making one wheel much longer on this side. I mean, it didn't really matter, but the looks mattered to me. So this wheel was all the way down here while this wheel was right here. And I didn't like how that looked. So I put, I had a, it was tricky, but I had to put these together. But you know, you have to make sure it's a little loose on the inside so it could still roll. But I put two over here. So if it doesn't call for two, you can put two in there like I did. But let's go see this in action um, when the sun hits it. Hopefully it's sunny outside. It's not super sunny, but let's see what happens. Okay, guys. Well, I'm in my backyard right now. And as you can see... There's no sun at all. So, we're gonna have to come back tomorrow or later today and try to get some sun, okay? So, let's try to do a cool transition into tomorrow. Okay guys, so, here we are the next day and we got some sunlight, as you can see. We got this, all of this over here to use. See, it's already moving. So, as you can see, I'm blocking it with my shade right now. So nothing's hitting it, it's not going. But when the sun starts to hit it, it'll go. So, I mean, it doesn't go, oh, actually, Oh, this is it. It's pretty neat. I mean, it doesn't go super fast. Oh, I did not think it was going to go over that curve. But here it is. 
moving its way downtown. Looking pretty cool. And it actually works too. And it's actually pretty powerful. If you see, you see all that is just jumped over. So yeah, this that's the rover right there. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you saw this thing in action, it was pretty cool, wasn't it? So I, I honestly didn't even think it'd go over that curve. So yeah, I'd highly recommend this three hour build. Um, you get that satisfaction. If you, if you build stuff, you know what I'm talking about. You get the satisfaction from building it. It's, it's, it's a fun build. It's a good build. Um, it's really nice to put it on my wall. And it's actually an interactive build because you know it can go. Um, and it doesn't go super slow. I mean, it goes okay. But yeah, so like I said, this was only like 25 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link to this in the description below. Um, yeah, so before I go, I did want to talk to you guys about one thing. So after I do my camera, the camera, the other rocker build, and I do my big build, my big knife plays build, that was like one of these. I'm thinking of actually doing some of it on, you know, just for fun. I, but maybe just like an hour, an hour, um, uh, what is it called? Live stream two times a week. And then, you know, between those live streams, I'd work on it myself also. But, you know, I'll just, I'll try it out. It'd be my first time actually trying out a live stream. So I'll, I'll probably do that um, next week. So, yeah. Um, this week I'm pretty busy, but I'll do it next week because I'm not even done with the camera yet. I haven't even opened it yet. So I'll, I'm, I'm going to do that. So guys, watch out for next week. Um, I'll be doing that. So, yeah. So um, please make sure you like and subscribe. You don't have to hit those notifications if you don't want to. But yeah, and have a, have a great day. Bye, guys.